Hello and welcome to the first video uh, for section two of my Formalising Mathematics 2022 course. Uh, we're going to be talking about the real numbers in this section and uh, we're going to be going pretty quickly in fact we're going to end up uh, we're going to start with the very basics and uh, we're going to end up proving theorems about uh, limits of sequences. So uh, we need to know a few more tactics to um, to, to manipulate the real numbers. And uh, the first one I'm going to explain to you is the norm num tactic, uh, which normalizes numerals. So for example, if we want to prove 2 plus 2 is 4, that's the kind of thing that the normalized numerals tactic will do, norm num. There it is. And we want, if we want to prove 2 add 2 is not 5, it'll do that as well. Uh, if we want to prove that 2 add 2 is less than 5, that's the sort of thing it will also do. Uh, but it won't do this because this has a variable in. The thing about normalized numerals uh, is that uh, it will work with numerals. If we try, Let's try norm num. I should think, yes, it doesn't do, it doesn't do anything at all. Uh, so we've got to prove that there exists a real number x such that 3x plus 7 is 12. And of course, a very natural way to prove that uh, is by just uh, telling me which real number we should use. And uh, we do that by using the use tactic. So this is use. Uh, what do we do? We subtract 7 from both sides. We get 3x equals 5. Uh, so I think it's use 5 over 3. Hopefully that works. Uh, norm num. Yes, it does. Uh, and here we've got to prove that there exists an x such that 3x plus 7 is not 12. Uh, so we have to use any number that isn't 5 over 3, basically. Let's use 0. Uh, norm num. Yeah, that's done, that one. And then finally, oh, simultaneous linear equations. We've got to prove that there exists some um, real numbers x and y such that 2x, 2x plus 3y is 7 and uh, x plus 2y is 4. These two dashes mean comments. Uh, so what we're going to do, I could subtract one equation from the other and I'll get x plus y is 3. Uh, and then I can subtract one from the other again and get y is 1. And then solve for x, it looks like x is 2. Okay. Um, so I could use 2, that will do x, and then I could use 3. Uh, and I wonder if norm num will do that. I wonder if norm num knows about and, I suspect it might not. Uh, oh, false. <laughs> oh, that's because I've done the wrong thing. Use 1. There we go, goes it. So norm num does know about and. I was thinking I might have to use split and then norm num. I think actually use will take more than one thing. There we go. There's a uh, there's a slightly slicker solution, and uh, I guess that's the end of this sheet. So that's the end of this video.